Hi there and welcome back again to this course in AB153 and this video will be doing our first problem uh, for the topic in load analysis and by the way there's nothing much new about the computation since we're uh, it's I mean we're just dealing with equilibrium equations um, and stuff like that so uh, there's nothing much new it's something like a review of your statics and your strength of materials all right, so to start, this first problem is taken from the textbook of Hubler. That's engineering mechanics, and this is example 5.2. Uh, the problem says that the operator applies a vertical force to the pedal so that the spring is stretched 1.5 inches, and the force in the short link at P is 20 pounds. Determine the value of F and, and the reactions at A. Here is our pedal. Uh, this shape right here, this is our pedal, and this pedal is supported by a pin or or an internal hinge. So recall that an internal hinge, uh, sorry, not internal hinge, but rather uh, end pin, okay, end pin support. Um, I think this should be end pin support because this is one solid body and it's just that the support is uh, somewhere right here. Okay, so this is a pin, and uh, recall that the pin is a, a support that has uh, reactions along this, along this direction and another uh, direction perpendicular to the first direction. Okay, and it allows rotation. Okay, so this is the the center of moment. So if we apply force right here, this member will will move like this. So in that. Uh, in that matter, this spring will be stretched and the force in the short link, or I mean, uh, the short link will also uh, exhibit support reactions. Okay, so since this is a spring, we know that the force is just simply F is equal to Kx. So this is the simple equations for the, or the force equation for the springs. And that means the force is goes, is equal to the spring constant k, which is given, and the displacement. Okay, this displacement 1.5 inches, and k times x is the force. Now, for the short link, uh, it's already given 20 pounds. Okay, so for the solution. For the solution, um, the first step that we'll do is to draw the free body diagram. Okay, so free body, uh, free body diagram of what? Is it the entire system, or is it um, the spring, or the short link, or this pedal? And of course, it must be the free body diagram of the pedal. Okay, so let's draw it here. Okay, so now let's draw the forces. So right here we have a spring force, and this is just F is equal to Kx, and K is 20 pounds per inch times the displacement of 1.5 inches. So this is uh, 30, 30 pounds. And right here, there's going to be a force. And by the way, how did we know that the direction of the force is to the right it's simply because if if this is the force that's going downward and we have these reactions uh, right here okay so this one will move counterclockwise so actually it will stretch I mean with respect to this uh, short link if this is the I mean, with respect to this short link, the force will be uh, in tension, and it's also true for the for for the spring force. I mean, for the for the spring. So, if this pedal rotates counterclockwise, this spring will 
uh, will be in tension but with respect to the to, the, to this pedal it will be a reaction so that 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 would be in the opposite direction okay so right here this is a pin so we have um, let's just write a y and a x so we didn't actually um, you can also find the forces uh, oriented in this in this direction however for uh, if we just maintain the x and y the x and y direction then uh, we'll have this these reactions okay so from the problem we can see that this is 20 pounds we can see that this is a determinate problem because we have three unknowns and we have three equilibrium uh, three equilibrium equations for 2d planes okay so the next step is to apply the equilibrium equations okay so first step is let's do a summation of moment at a okay so right here summation of moment at a so what we'll need is the distance this distance sorry this must be f so the distance from point a to f this is five inches and from point a to the spring this is 1.5 and from point a to the short link this is uh, one oh sorry this must be one right so this is one and this is two point um, two point five Okay, so summation of moment at A is equal to this is equal to zero. Okay, so um, all the forces that that produces a clockwise moment will be F. I mean the the spring force in the short links. So that would be twin. I mean thirty times one. That would be 30 times 1. Okay, so 30 times 1 plus okay, 20 times the moment arm distance. This is 2.5. So it's equal to the forces that produces a counterclockwise. This is just F uh, times 5 inches. Okay, so therefore F is equal to F is equal to 16 um, pounds. Okay, the next uh, equilibrium equation is summation of forces Y is equal to zero. Then let's assume the upward direction is positive. So all the forces uh, will be AY. I mean forces along the vertical direction is just AY and F. So therefore F is simply equal to uh, a y okay which is just equal to 16 uh, 16 pounds okay and then the next equilibrium equation is summation of forces uh, forces equal to x so let's assume that right uh, right direction is positive so all the forces at x is just simply a x is equal to 20 plus 30 so this is 50 pounds all right now we'll do our uh, we will do our next problem and this problem is taken from the textbook of uh, Shelley 800 solve problems in vector mechanics this is example 5.68 okay so the problem says that the mechanical system shown is referred to as a cam and follower and this is the uh, uh, this is one example or this is one type of a cam and follower so this is the cam and this is the the follower so depending upon the 
geometry or the profile of this cam so it can be perfect circle or it might be a non-perfect circle and you would notice right here this is the the center of rotation so that means it's it's not it's not going to be a perfect circle i mean the geometry of motion wouldn't be i think it wouldn't be a it i mean it wouldn't be the same as the circle uh, of this um, of this size okay it's because this will be the the radius so from this point to that point so that's going to be the uh, the motion however the point of contact is right here so there's going to be changes in the response of the follower okay anyway uh, it says here that a counterclockwise couple of uh, 4850 inch pound acts on the cam and this element has a smooth surface so find the following a the compressive force rc uh, rc that's the reaction transmitted between the cam and the follower so because because there's a point of contact right here so there's going to be a reaction at this point so let's say this is our point c okay and the next one that we are to find is the magnitude of the couple ma so because we have um we have this uh, forces that's being transmitted so from this input moment there's going to be forces transmitted right here so from and f with regard to this um to this component there's also going to be uh, forces that's being transmitted um, right here uh, support reactions plus the uh, plus the concentrated uh, moment or couple okay so this is a pin and we know that pin doesn't have this moment however it, it must mean that there must be something or some um, s some other components or external assemblies or components that are connected to this system because there is a reaction ma all right and let's continue uh, which must be excited and follow to maintain the equilibrium positions Okay, so uh, we, we are still in equilibrium and let us see, find the hinge pin forces at A and B. So because these are supports, then there must be a support reactions, right? So th those support reactions are, ex uh, are independent to this uh, concentrated uh, or the given concentrated moments right here. So again, this is our problem. It's a mechanical system. It's a cam and follower systems. This is the cam this is the, the follower so the follower depends on the motion of the cam okay so uh this this cam and follower they are supported using a pin and we know that pins they have reactions uh let's say at x and y so therefore this this moment this concentrated moments right here they are they are given or they are uh, let's say input and output moments okay so first let's check if this is a um, determinate problem or not so we have let's say we'll consider this system right so in these systems we have two unknowns right here and two unknowns at point b so that's that would give us four unknowns okay four unknowns but we only have three equations of equilibrium however we have a uh, a joint right here so we have a joint right here and that joint is actually it can be modeled as or we we term this we we can term that as uh, internal roller instead of having i mean the typical ones that we used in in 161 we used internal internal pin but this one this is an internal internal roller however this internal rollers uh, actually uh, in our topic or in our in our presentation uh we only i mean we discussed about the release like the actual release um uh, shear release torsional release or moment release this is actually a moment release why because even though this is an internal moment and we only have reactions uh let's say at this uh in this direction at the point of contact and normal to the surface so even though if it's only one reactions you would you would actually realize that it's 
that we can represent this uh, this resultant force by its components right so therefore it's still uh, it's, uh, it's 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 still um, it's gonna be a moment release okay so that's how I I I interpret it okay so even though we have only one uh, single force acting at that um, uh, at this point in this direction you can still represent it as uh, X and Y and in that case we only have a uh, force force reactions along X and Y and we don't have um, we don't have a moment reactions right here so therefore this is a moment release okay now let's do our first solution I mean our uh, solution so for the first step I've uh, I have already drawn um, the, um, the components or the parts so that I can save time so the first step is to draw the free body diagram so by the way I, I forgot uh, b because of this internal release then there gives another set of um, another set of equilibrium equations so that means for the follower we can apply the three equilibrium equations so we have um, so let's write it here so let's say our support reactions uh, support and joints reactions we have one two three four and right here five six so let's say this is six because we have x and y right x and y so we have six unknowns and our number of equilibrium equations is that we can apply the three equilibrium equations in this follow in this follower right so three okay plus another three equilibrium equations in this uh, in this cam okay so that gives us three plus three so this is uh, a determinate a determinate problem because of this internal release so we released one unknowns something like that okay so the first step is to draw the free body diagram of each component so for the figure one uh, let's say uh, for the follower so since this is a pin then we have ax ay and we have these reactions we have this reaction at the point of contact and as I've said we can also represent these reactions in terms of in terms of its X and Y components and we can find that if we know the uh, we can find that if we know this angle right here and also we we have this um, given moments that's uh, I I use the symbol a sub m rather than m a Okay, so meaning that the this is the moment reaction at at A. Okay, and then for the free body diagram of the of the cam, so here's our our cam and this is the the pin support. So this is BX. We have an uh, reactions at X and a reactions at Y, plus the given moment that is four thousand eight hundred fifty inch pound, and the forces or or the force reaction at the at the joint okay plus the geometry right here we have to include that in our free body diagram okay so first let's let's find this distance right here so from this point point of contact to point a let's find that distance so we know actually that uh, from hinge from point a to point b the given is already 10 inches right and from this center right here oh I'm sorry I mean from point A to the center to this center not the hinge this is 10 inches and from the center to the radius I mean from the center to this uh, to the circle that's the radius this is simply 6 divided by 3 so this is 3 inches okay so let's write it here uh, this is 3 inches and this one is 10 so therefore if we want to find this moment arm here so it's just simply 10 uh, we just apply the Pythagorean theorem that's 10 inches um, since this is the 90 degrees then the hypotenuse is this 10 uh, this 10 inches 
Right, so let's just write here 10 squared is equal to L squared okay, plus 3 squared. Okay, so this is the hypotenuse, the 10, because this is the 90 degrees. Okay, so therefore L, if you do the math, what you get is 9.54 inches. So this is 9.54. And our theta right here, okay, so this theta, this is actually the same as the uh, as this theta. Okay, so how do we find this theta? This is simply tangent theta is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. This is the adjacent, this is the hypotenuse with respect to this theta. Okay, so th tangent theta is equal to 9.54 all over 3 and what we get is theta is equal to 72.5 degrees. Okay, so this theta right here that's the same theta right here so they're just actually uh, the same okay so right here in this figure 2 this this one this is the theta all right and the distance from point b to to the center of the cam this is 2. Point, uh, this is 2. Point 2.2 okay so the next step the next step now is uh, we can we can now apply okay, so st step two uh, we should uh, we can now apply the equilibrium uh, equation In, I think we'll we'll first have this. Okay, so um, I think we'll first have this equilibrium equation we'll, because we only have if we take moments at point B, then we can solve for the R. Although in this figure one, I think you can you can uh, also do that. Okay, anyway, uh, I'll just use the figure 2. Right, this is figure number 2. Okay, so summation of moment. Okay, I'll take a summation of moment at B is equal to zero so if i take the summation of moment and it is my r then i can also find like i mean the this distance this is the perpendicular distance uh, i can also find that or i can convert or i can convert this or find the y component right here and find the uh, find or the y component and the uh, moment arm would be this 2.2 uh, inches right so again to find the the r then if i use this this resultant r then the moment arm that i that i must use should be this perpendicular distance but if i find the the vertical component this one then the moment arm that I'll be using is this 2.2 inches. Okay, so let's just use the the vertical component. So R sine theta times the moment arm, which is 2.20 inch, right, is equal to what else? What other moments? We have this uh, given moment of 4,850. 4850 inch pound and if you substitute all the values what you get is 2311.53 pounds okay next is let's apply the summation of forces at y is equal to zero so the forces that's why is this vertical reaction and the the vertical component of the r okay so therefore a by is just simply r sine theta and this is 
uh, if you substitute all the values uh, what you get is 2204.5 pounds okay and then lastly summation of forces x is equal to 0 and bx all right so bx so this bx is just equal to the horizontal component of the of the r so bx is equal to r cosine theta and if you substitute the value of r because r we have this we have that and instead of using sine theta we use the cosine theta okay so if you substitute all the values what you get is 695.1 pounds okay so now we have all the the unknowns so now let's let's consider the figure figure one right so considering figure one and applying the equilibrium equations okay so this one so the first step is let's do a summation of moment right here if we do a summation of moment right here and we have the value of r we have this r value we have the moment arm and the unknown is this a sub m this um, this is a given unknowns all right so if we take the summation of moments at a we can solve for a sub m okay summation of moment at a is equal to zero Right. So, all the moments that produces clockwise is AM is equal to the moment that uh, forces that produces counterclockwise rotations. This is R times 9.54. So, R times 9.54 inches. Okay, so, this is 22,052 pounds. Okay, next is let's do summation of forces y is equal to zero so all the forces would be um, would be this one that's r r sine theta okay plus our a y so this is our assume direction a y so that's positive is equal to zero so therefore a y is equal to negative um, 2204.5 okay so if, if it means negative that means that uh, the the reaction should be downwards okay and then the next one is to take the summation of forces at x is equal to zero so the forces at x is the horizontal component of R and this support reaction AX so AX is simply R cosine theta okay so AX is equal to 695.1 pounds okay so in review so in review is that uh, we first uh, we first analyze the systems if we can uh, I mean if it is determinate or not because uh, that would really matter because if it's indeterminate then we cannot be able to solve this using the the equilibrium equations alone okay so uh, in in our first look of this problem um, this this has four unknowns right uh, two right here and then two in in point B so four unknowns and we only have three equations of equilibrium however because of this internal release or this joint right here uh, that uh, that provides additional uh, set of equations okay so that means that if we really take into account all the unknown forces this, this will be one two three four because this is X and Y rations right uh, and this uh, the, uh, reactions here so five six so we have six unknowns and we have um, three equations of equilibrium for the follower and another three equations of equilibrium for the cam so we have six all in all six is equal to six then that's the determinate problem so the first step that we did is to draw the free body diagram and we 
we expose all the forces, the reactions, and we also need to input the the dimensions and the distances. Okay, so that's for the follower and another uh, free body that free body diagram for the cam. Okay, so once we have done that, then we can just simply apply the equilibrium equations. Okay, so we apply the equilibrium equations in the cam and equilibrium equations in the follower, and we get all the unknowns. Okay, so that's our problems in this videos. So in the next video, we'll be doing some more problems.